Tales of Aria slash Aria. Okay, so a little different setup today. I have my GoPro as my camera instead of my phone. Okay, so and just to see how this because if I I used to put this recorded through my OBS using the GoPro as the camera and there was a little slag between between my lips moving and the sound so it sounds like there's a delay or it looks like like a delay so let's see how this goes go cool. so tales of Araya all right I'm gonna call it tales should you be pre-ordering at the price point of Channel Fireball and Star Sea games or should you be searching for other LGS selling at MSRP all right so a little bit of what I did first okay I did buy it eight boxes from Channel Fireball and right from the get-go so it was hundred and fifty dollar at that moment I got the max eight my brother got the max eight our friend got the max eight I also they since they allow eight her households I also got my other brother I got three brothers so my second brother to ask him a favor can you get me eight I'll pay you back so right now I got 16 16 in the box I was hoping that Star City games would come out for around a hundred twenty five maybe a hundred dollar to undercut Channel Fireball like they did for Monarch when Monarch came out, it was 250. Star City Games won 200. Channel Fireball went down to 200 to prevent any of people refunding. Okay, so I thought that was gonna happen. Nope, they stayed. Uh, they actually uh, matched Channel Fireball. Channel Fireball went from 150 to 175 because they man, and then Channel and then Star City Game entered the game at 175. Okay, so I'm not gonna buy any from Star City Games. 150 is actually gonna be my price point. All right, and for you, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I'm gonna recommend that 150 should be your highest for yeah, for this set. And I have to give a disclaimer for just in case to cover my own ass. I am not a financial advisor. I hear this all the time. Do not take my advice too hard and then come after me when uh, when I get it wrong. I am human. I've said it many times in my last uh, my last video, my few back, that I have made plenty of mistakes. Anytime I predict something, it goes exactly opposite. All right, but this is my prediction. History always repeats itself. Monarch was the first. Um, TCG for a set that behaved like the original, like how TCG goes. During spoiler season, hype is up. Once released, hype is crazy. But a month in, after release, everything died, all the prices goes down because the market is flooded. There's plenty of people that want to get in on that price point, sell, sell, sell and sell single crack open boxes and then flood the whole market with uh, with all their singles that they crack and Monarch what you call it? there was a lot of stores that were holding on to their supply and not selling them because they thought hey within a couple months maybe uh, three to four months that price will double quadruple triple quadruple but surprise, surprise, it did it with the whole crypto crash. Well, I wouldn't call it crypto crash, but crypto dip. Uh, so did any TCG price went back now. So that's something that we didn't, well, we didn't um, anticipate. So that goes down and that was one of the contribute factor. And plus Monarch wasn't really a, a set that go uh, that helped the previous set so there wasn't really any chase cards so I predict that for tails spoiler season is gonna go up make the demand go up prices of uh, boxes go maybe 300 400 dollars I don't think it's gonna be 500 this year uh, this time around 
because of many people with that memory of getting burned. It's gonna go up, but then uh, and this is something ma something different because you have for Monarch Unlimited came out a month later, but I think for Tails it's gonna come out two to three months after. So we guess uh, there's some time for first edition to shine. So I'm thinking because of that. I think LSS are gonna be printing a lot more than Ma than Monarch. Well, not a lot more, but definitely more. And Monarch, I say this more than uh, Crucible. And Crucible was double the uh, print run of uh, Welcome to Rift and Arcane Rising. So I say Tails is gonna be a lot, not a lot, but a good amount. So enough to satisfy everybody where product will should be around uh, MSRP. So you shouldn't be buying uh, buying too much. And eventually it'll go back down, right? So M uh, MSRP. Now, if it stays at MSRP, right, then you should be buying. But if it's up there around three hundred something, I I say high chance that it's gonna go down a month or two uh, as it goes closer to unlimited. Because everybody first needs the card, so the price is gonna be high. But once unlimited goes, so uh, once unlimited approaches. Price is gonna go down just like how Crucible or War, all these uh, first edition non foils, they're going down in prices because Unlimited is about to come out and today's the 29th, so it, with the, tomorrow it's gonna come out. So price is gonna drop. I say that Krunik Unlimited, it's gonna be, I say, uh, I predict $100 or less. That's just my prediction. I digress, go back. So we're gonna go back. So price is gonna go high, gonna drop down. I'm gonna be waiting. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. So I say around like when Unlimited comes out or a month after Unlimited, that's when I'm gonna start snatching up boxes of first edition tales. Uh, that's after my whole my whatever. I'm gonna keep building up my on my uh, on my position for that. So that's just my take. Okay, you do what you gotta do, but don't try to repeat the same mistake you are uh, that you did. Okay. If you got burned by Monarch, be patient with Tails. Okay. And I could be wrong. I could be really wrong where it starts off low and then it starts creeping up high. Because I think when it comes out towards the end of September. So uh, two, three months, it's going to be around November and December. And that's where the trend usually starts with TCG around Christmas time. Uh, prices really go up. So... You never know. Uh, if it if it's my prediction, it's gonna be low. I mean, it's gonna go high and it's gonna dip down low to around November. That's when uh, Unlimited comes out. I think that's the time where I'm gonna start snatching because around Christmas time it's gonna go higher up. But you never know. Let's see how it is. And though I'm just gonna buy my boxes from Channel Fireball right now, and some of the LGSs that I have acquired my. Monarch boxes, first edition at around MSRP. Those are the LGS I'm gonna put my money back. The ones that actually follow through with their pre-orders, right? There, uh, I'm definitely not gonna be pre-ordering from Time Twister, right? Time Twister got my four hundred dollar uh, loan, interest free. So and they say they cancel on me, refund it, saying that they don't have enough. Okay, I understand that, but then if you looked at their their website and had boxes for five hundred dollars, what do you mean you don't have enough five hundred dollars? And they say, oh, because they bought it from China Firebombs. But well, come on, think about it in your business perspective. You have a bunch of a whole bunch of pre-orders that you couldn't fulfill, and then you're gonna have, buy boxes and try to sell them. How would that look from you at your reputation? Mm -hmm. So, and then about a day or two ago, they have on the Discord. I saw them who want to sell uh, cases for nine hundred dollars. Come on, I thought you didn't have, but yet you have, All right? And then they're trying uh, trying to get rid of their uh, their inventory because I guess they got pay uh, bills to pay. So those type of LGSs are not gonna get my business. Shouldn't get your business either. All right, be uh, be smart about the money. Let them know. All right, take charge with your wallet. All right, so that's all for today. Figure out what you want to do.